Meanwhile, Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley announced today that he is exploring a run for governor in 2022. That's right. The mayor is term limited for running again as mayor. He's the first Democrat to potentially throw his hat in the ring for the state's highest job. Investigative reporter Paula Christian broke the story today at noon. She's here in studio tonight with reaction from both parties. Paula. Well, today's news comes as no surprise to political insiders who knew Cranley was eyeing a statewide office. The Cincinnati miracle is a comeback. Cranley is the first candidate in Ohio to publicly announce that he is exploring a run for governor. I've begun exploring whether it makes sense to run for governor because I know that Ohio can do a lot better. He is a pro-business Democrat who hopes his success story in Cincinnati, adding jobs and spurring development, will appeal to voters statewide. Candidly, for decades, the Ohio, Ohio's middle class has been shrinking under bad policies coming out of state government. Cincinnati has seen a comeback, and that, I think, is worth thinking about uh, as a better way forward for Ohio. But Hamilton County Republican Chairman Alex Triantafiu says Cranley's record is one of chaos at City Hall, and he won't stand a chance against the current governor, Mike DeWine. I think he has a real challenge. I think Republicans have done extraordinarily well in Ohio in the last several cycles. This is a red state. But Ohio Democratic Party Chair David Pepper doesn't believe the state is doing well under Republican leadership. In a statement to WCPO, Pepper says, Democrats have a deep bench of public servants across Ohio, and given that Ohio just had its worst jobs year since 2009, I'm not surprised some are already stepping up to run in 2022. We believe in ourselves again. If Cranley moves ahead with the campaign, he could face Democratic challengers in a 2022 spring primary. Possible candidates include Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley and Congressman Tim Ryan from Youngstown. Whoever wins would likely face DeWine in November. When people think of Governor DeWine, they just think of good government. This isn't a person with flash or pizzazz. It's someone who's really committed to Ohio. Paula Christian, Nine News I-Team. Well, if Cranley pursues a campaign, he would likely need to raise $20 million for a November 2022 race, likely against DeWine.